Hi folks, welcome to the fourth and final part of the screwdriver fitting video for the Colt Python crane screw. We've got the screwdriver here that after the last video I just finished filing and sanding a little bit more to get it down about where we needed it. You didn't really miss anything. I've got my dial caliper here at a 32 thousandths, which is about a thousandth on either side larger than what we needed or what we thought we needed based on the uh, oops, feeler gauge and we can see that when we do that we're slipping up here pretty good definitely deep enough for the screw there's a little bit of material left at the back that is in excess but that's going to be above the screw depth so we'll be fine there. It's not a big deal. So finishing up here, since we've just got this kind of sanded surface, it's not, it's not great. It's not bad, but it's not great. What I'm going to do is just take a stone. And just kind of kind of clean those sides up a little bit. Basically, just polishing. We don't want there to be any rough spots, anything that might cause some damage to the screw. And with this, it's not going to polish the entire surface, just the high spots. If you had an automated system for doing this, you could certainly do that. But since we're just doing this by hand with minimal tools, I'm just going to take off any roughness. Obviously, we could sit here all day trying to make this perfect, but you don't really need to do that. Certainly not for you guys watching. I don't think you want to see me do this for the next hour or anything, do you? Let's just set this to the side for now and get the revolver out and see if our efforts have paid off. We might be a little bit wide still, uh, but that that feeler gauge that was, what was it, 30 thousandths? It seemed a little loose, so I think being at 32 will probably be just fine. All right, the moment of truth. Are you ready? When she comes out, we'll see that there is no damage to the screw head the slot is as perfect as the day it left the factory. Let's see if we can put it back in without marring it up. Seemed like a really good fit. Slightly undersized, actually. Just slightly, though. It slipped in easily. There was no force, which you don't want there to be any. If you have to force it in, that's how you start mushrooming out the edges of that slot. Just 
slips in beautifully. We're not hanging over the edge. And snug it up. And again, you can see not not a bit of deformation just absolutely beautiful perfect just some fingerprints and i snug that down i mean fairly snug i mean you don't want to over tighten these things because even with a even with a properly fitted screwdriver, there's no reason to be over tightening, but definitely good and solid to its to its stop. Yeah, I mean we don't want to go any tightener than that. So I'm not being gentle with it. is perfect can we get even closer so you can see I turn the light up yeah throw the light around apparently beautiful Adjust the light here a little bit. Let's take a look at that screwdriver. We've taken the sides down to narrow it out. Nice and parallel at the front there. Trimmed it down there. Polished it up. And you can see there's minor imperfection to it but it is plenty up to the task as we've just seen. So that is how you take just a common hardware store screwdriver. You probably have a broken one or something even in a toolbox somewhere that you can get to work on. And you can make a custom fitted screwdriver for a particular screw. Obviously, you can always just buy a bit kit from uh, any of the places that sell them. Get uh, precision ground screwdrivers that are already manufactured. But sometimes they just don't fit. I mean, this one here is a fantastic screwdriver. That's a Grace USA N3 screwdriver. Very similar. But it's just slightly too big for this screw, so it doesn't work. If I go over here, by the time I get to anything that actually fits the screw, does this even fit the screw? It does fit into it, but the problem is we're not getting full engagement in, well, the, in any dimension, it's just too small. And that's what you run into is you have to have so many different sizes of screwdrivers for all the different screws out there that it's really handy to be able to fit one yourself to where you've got a, a perfect fit, a custom fit. And when you can do that and do it well, it's, it's hard to find a mass produced item that, that will be as perfect as something that's hand fitted like that. So that is really all there is to it. Pretty simple, it takes a little bit of time. I couldn't tell you how long I spent on this. Probably, oh, I think even making the video and all that, you know, two hours, probably not two hours uh, of actual work. I, I would guess it's only, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes of actual work involved in it. It doesn't take very long and it gives you an excellent result. So thanks for watching. Uh,
If it helps you, let me know and uh, check back later for more videos.